going on, guys? This is Aaron Wisnowski with Skullcap Podcast. How you guys all doing? Check it out. I'm at my bar. This is where I work. Pretty cool. Cool setting. Lots of liquor. Lots of booze behind us. Cool stuff. So today I want to teach you guys about free pouring, all right? I think it's really important. I think this is something that every bartender needs to know how to do, okay? So I'm going to make it super simple for you, super easy, and hopefully watching this you get some of the techniques that I use and how I've kind of been taught back in the day and you know just kind of how i do it right so let's first what you're going to need is get yourself a bottle right bottle put water in it get yourself a speed pour right here okay this is what you're going to be practicing with right doesn't matter any kind of bottle as long as it's got a neck that you can grip on okay so that i like to use a shaker tin use this is where you can pour it in to make sure that your counts are right also, you're going to want to use yourself a jigger, all right? These are the jiggers. I don't like using these, but this is how you're going to know if your counts are correct, right? So first off, let's get a couple things out of the way. What is the count system that I actually use, all right? How I do it is 128 beats per minute. So what that means, how that translates to is if I want to do a shot, it would sound something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six right? If I wanted to a two ounce pour, that's an eight count. And what I'm, how I'm getting these numbers is for every clap, that's a quarter ounce. So one, two, three, four, that right there, that would be one ounce, five, six, two, you know, two, a uh, half ounce on top of the one ounce, that's a shot, 1.5 ounces. Okay. Two ounces or two ounces is an eight count. And then for one of these lovely things, these martinis, right? That'd be a 12 count. So 12 times 0.25 would be three ounces, right? Three. That's the martini, okay? So how we want to do this is you're going to want to take your bottle, okay? Take it by the neck. When you go to pour this, right as you go upside down, you're going to have the, uh, the liquor starting to pour. So you got to make sure that your count starts right when you see that liquor come out, all right? When you get towards the end of your count, then you're going to get your wrist back and to make sure that the liquor stops pouring and you're not over pouring, okay? So how that's gonna look in the shaker tin, this is a six count, this is a shot, 1.5 ounces, okay? Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six that's a shot now how's that shot going to look like in a glass right take this in here that is a shot okay again let's do an eight ounce and notice how my wrist right when i put it in and put it down and twist it that's when i start counting again right when you saw the liquor come that's how you start counting so let's actually do it in a glass right let's say you want a two ounce pour in this bad boy right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, like that. Now I sit there and hit it down like that. You don't have to do that. That's just because I'm going slower. Now if I was going faster, right, and say I needed to sit here and do this multiple times, okay, say I've got eight of these and I want to make sure that I'm getting those pours, I do eight, you know, just like, let's put these up here so you can see. You know what? No, all right, kit. Put on the mat do it on the mat right eight right here one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight all right if you look at all of them let's see Ooh, beautiful right check that out they're all there all right don't got anything to make sure in the black uh, maybe not. I don't know. Bam. You see? Beautiful. All there. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> so this is how you would free pour, right? You do that. Again, these are two ounces. Now, again, if you sit there and put in some ice, right? Bam. It gets a little bit bigger. Obviously, it's going to be bigger because the ice, but that still is a two ounce pour. All right. More ice doesn't mean more booze, right? You get people like that with a two ounce, fill that bad boy all the way up with ice, right? Oh, look it, I got more booze. No, man, you just got more ice, okay? that that That's what you got, all right? You still got the two ounce, okay? 
but whatever. Some people get crazy about that and it's all good. So literally that's how you would free pour. All right. So big thing is with this is I use a jerky motion, <laughs> a jerky motion, right? When I'm sitting there and I'm getting these multiple ones done. And how I do that is when I put it down, I pour it. And then when I need to, I stop, go to the next one. Okay. So again, let's just do shots. That's a six count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Think of that beat like you're dancing. One, two, three, four, five, six, ba, 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 whatever, right? That's the beat, 128 beats per minute. Again, bar I get it, put on the mat. Don't do it on here so it doesn't spill over the bar. Shot, right? Six count. One, two, three, four, five, six. See that motion where I went down, up to stop the pour? That's how you would do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? That's how that goes like that, okay? Again, bam, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful shots, looking good, right? Looking, looking stable. So do this at home, okay? Get your shaker tin, right? Learn this, bam, learn this, put it in. Three ounce pour, right? Get that in your martini glass, okay? That's how you do it, right? Free pour that bad boy. Keep doing it. Fill this up with water. Again, let's just keep doing it now. Martini. You know what? Fine. Let's do it as a martini. Let's just show you. Let's show you how to do it. 12 ounce, right? They want a gray goose martini. Let's do that. 12 count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bam. In there. 12 count right there, right? Get the ice, shaking in there, bam. Shake that bad boy up. Demonstration purposes, you're putting on the bar, that's all. Get that shaking up, bam. Put that in there, get your strainer, right? Do, 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 bam. Three ounces, martini right there, shaking up, okay? A little bit more because it was shaking up. If I were to do three ounces in there, it'd be a little bit less. But again, that is the pour. That is the three ounce pour, a 12 count, okay? 12 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That again for a martini. Now, again, if we don't shake it up and we pour that in there right away, it's basically almost the same that we had as before. It'd be a little bit more fluff because of the ice, but there you go. That is a three ounce. And no, it does not need to be all the way to the rim. That would be about four, four and a half. Don't do that. This is where it is because you don't want to sit there. Oh, it's wobbling and it's getting all over the place, right? They go to sip and they're already spilling on themselves. Three ounce pour. This is how you do it, okay? That's how you free pour, all right? Learn how to do that. Use those jiggers. Make sure you're getting in there, right? Two ounce pour right here when I was doing this. Bam, boom, stopped. Nothing fell, nothing went down. Again, back to like my rocks glass for a two ounce pour. Bam, all right? That was there with the jigger. Here's going to be... Here's going to be one that I sit here and pour like this, right? Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, everyone, hopefully you learned something today, all right? Again, free pouring, super important. Learn how to do it, kind of with the tricks and kind of with the tips I gave you. Get yourself an empty bottle, good neck that you can sit there with a speed pourer. Learn how to, learn how to free pour, man, you, you need to. Especially if you're working a high volume bar, a faster pace bar, like this bar gets nutso, right? You need to be able to pour quick and you need to be able to make drinks fast. Again, these jiggers, they're nice, right? They work, they work. But you're gonna have to learn how to free pour and not be using those all the time. They're good, right? For some of that like top shelf up there, they're okay, right? If you wanna make sure you have an accurate two ounce pour for sure, cool, do it, right? But for everything else, please, please learn how to free pour. Again, 128 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a shot. Seven, eight. That's a two ounce pour. That's a two ounce pour, rocks or neat. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
12 count, that's three ounces, and that's a martini, all right? And that's a martini. So, get that beat in your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Bam, martini. Everything less than that, that's gonna be your one and a half shot, six count, your two ounce pour, eight count, or your martini, 12 count, all right? Again, thank you so much for watching. This is Aaron Wisnowski with Skullcap Podcast. Until the next one, have yourself a great night.